catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of August 15th. After weeks of community criticism about the Brackenridge Park draft master plan, the City Neighborhoods and Livability Committee voted to jettison the most controversial proposals and sent city staff back to ask the people who use the park what they want. The committee, chaired by District 1 Councilman Roberto Trevino, voted unanimously to cut unpopular proposals such as the people moving system, cutting the parking spaces, and closing some roads. Go to Nowcast SA for exclusive video of that meeting and the public hearings. Whether we want to admit it or not, uh, the city has made mistakes around transparency and inclusion uh, on, on this process, but also other processes. The West Side Development Corp brought community leaders together recently to talk about the present and the future of the Lower Fredericksburg Road Corridor. The group shared a study by the St. Mary's University professor and economist Stephen Niven looking at existing conditions and the potential for Fredericksburg Road, a key artery in San Antonio. Then it was the community's turn to say what West Side projects they want to see in San Antonio's 2017 bond package. And really what we do is we help here in the West Side promote economic development for developers, for existing businesses. Uh, but we also work very closely with the community that resides and lives in the West Side. And we like to think that the majority of the work that we do is to benefit the citizens who live in our community today, not those who may live here tomorrow. Uh, San Antonio's mayor and city council approved SA Tomorrow, a plan to deal with as many as a million new residents over the next 25 years. But was that plan strong enough to deal with the issues of sprawl and protection of the environment? Two councilmen with opposite views discussed it with Rick Casey on KLRN's Texas Week. Issues that have roiled City Hall for decades, issues over sprawl, environmental protection, and the rules that direct the city's development. Joining me to discuss the plan, the debates, and what's next are District 9 Council Member Joe Cryer and District 8 Council Member Ron Nuremberg. Welcome to you both. As the region looks at regulations to protect people and the environment, the San Antonio Express News reports that 52 preventable deaths occur each year in the city because of unsafe ozone levels. That's according to a report by New York University and the American Thoracic Society, which said lowering the ozone levels from the current 71 parts per billion to 60 parts per billion would be better for public health. Find more on all of these stories on Nowcast SA. And as always, thanks for watching The Edge. See you next week.